So uh, I'm Rob Matthews from Williston, Florida, and this is a 1975 Bronco named Patches. Patches is a 1975 uh, Bronco wagon. I think it's my ninth early Bronco. One of our friends that actually lives 40 minutes away, he had this truck and he, it was called Casper then because it was in primer. It was a good solid running truck and the price was right. And we put it on a trailer, drove it out there, dismantled the whole truck, painted it, put it back together mostly. It's, uh, it's a trail truck, so if it's raining, we get in and drive it. If it's dry and sunny, we get in and drive it. If it's, uh, you know, we're going to go down to the grocery store, we get in and drive it. It's very opposite from a show truck, which you pull out of the shop every six weeks to wash and put back in. We do take this off-road. We go play. These are two independent cages. The cage inside the truck is actually tied to the frame. Um, the cage outside uh, in the bed of the truck is not connected to this cage at all. It's a separate cage. Um, the reason we did that is we want to be able to take the half cab roof on and off. And I do have a bikini top that fits over here. So there's enough space between the two cages here and the one in the back that we can actually take this fiberglass lid and go straight vertical with it and take it off and put the tube doors on and go run, uh, go run topless. So it's the original 302 that came with the truck, uh, zero modifications, I mean whatsoever. So you know what, it, it probably had 170 horsepower or something back in 1975. I did put a Holley Sniper two barrel fuel injection system on it. Dana 44 front axle, nine inch rear axle, pretty standard stuff. Um, it's got 513 gears in it. I've got an Aussie locker up front, and I have a Spartan locker in the rear, just uh, inexpensive lunchbox lockers. This truck will go 75, 80, 85. It'll go as fast as you want to push it, and that's just nuts. <laughs> By my standards, that's, I, I don't, you know, I keep it under 65, usually I keep it at 60. I've got full three-quarter behind steering in the front of this truck. But when I was trying to find wheels, I was forced to go with a 17-inch rim to clear that uh, heim steering. I'm not a big fan of big rims. I'd rather have 15 inches, but they don't clear. Running on uh, 35, 12, 50 Pitbull rockers um, for the tires. James Duff suspensions, their three and a half inch kit front and rear. Uh, I am also running the long arms, the James Duff long arms on the front, and that was probably one of my top three modifications to the truck was putting long arms on it. Tom Woods drive shafts front and rear. I do have front disc brakes on here. That's the knuckle out conversion. That's all Ford um, knuckle out from a what 78 or 79 big Bronco or some F-150s. Uh, it is my opinion that you know full brake boosters and all, all the fancy stuff you want to put on these trucks. That's great, but if you just adjust your brakes, you don't need any of that stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Did you get that? <laughs> it does have an NV3550 transmission, which is a five-speed transmission. Uh, if I were doing it again, I would not use that transmission. It's been rebuilt twice. It still has ball bearings in fifth gear, and it does not like to stay in first gear. It pops out. So my wife and I have been to over 115 breweries all over um, the United States, all over North America, Canada. Last year, the year before last, we did an 1100 mile trip um, to North Carolina from Florida. And uh, we went and camped. We went to Overland Expo East and, uh, you know, basically camped out of the truck for 11 days um, or 10 days. And that was a lot of fun. A lot of dirt roads, a lot of back roads. We didn't use the interstate at all. It's fun. We like this thing. I, I forget half the stuff that's on this truck, to be honest with you. You kind of get it to a point where it's done and you're like, yes, it's done. And then you just go drive it and you forget half the things.